Hamilton and today in PSLE Science, I'll be going through cell systems answering technique. If you have not watched my previous video first, please watch that video so that you can understand the answering technique first in this video. Okay, so let's jump straight into the answering technique. Okay, first I'll be going through the template structure. Okay, so this is the template structure. The rule is that the moment we mention a cell part, we must use the particular function of the cell part. Okay, so an example is like this. A cell A is a root hair cell from a plant as it has a cell wall to give it a regular shape. See that? See it over here? See, cell A is a root hair cell from a plant. Okay, it has a cell wall. See, we are mentioning the part, right? You're mentioning the cell part, right? See that? To give it a regular shape. See, now we are mentioning the function over here. I've highlighted in the same color, okay? So this is the function. After that, I'm telling, which is only found in plants. But it does not have any chloroplast, okay? This is again the cell part, okay? Let me highlight it. Again the cell part. Let me just connect it also. After this, which traps light for photosynthesis to make food. See, now this is the function. See, which traps light for photosynthesis to make food. See, now this is the function again. See this? So this is how we must use the answering, okay? So this is just a root hair cell, okay? So this is how you must answer when we mention a cell part, we must state its function as well. Okay, now let's move on to the example question. So I'll be going through the example question now. Okay, here's the question. Let's read it first. Faris examined three different cells under a microscope and recorded his observations in the table below. A take indicates the presence of the cell part in the cell. Okay, so this is the table. So cell parts. So this is cell X, cell Y, and cell Z. So the cell parts. In cell X, there is a nuclear cell membrane, cytoplasm, and a cell wall, but has no chloroplast. So let me just put a cross over here. Okay? After this, Let's look at cell Y. Cell Y, it has a nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm, chloroplast, and cell wall. So it has all the cell parts. Okay, so if you remember from my previous video, you know that if the cell does not have a chloroplast and has a cell wall, it should be the root hair cell. Right? So let me just write that down here. And then cell Y, it has all the cell parts. It has the cell wall and the chloroplast, right? So it should be the leaf cell from the plant. And cell Z only has the nucleus, cell membrane, and cytoplasm. So it should be a chick cell from the animal, okay? So I'm just going to state that first, okay? So this is all the cell parts that they are okay so let me just put the cross on chloroplast and cell wall that is why this is the animal cell it does not have a cell wall and chloroplast after that they are telling us that faris identifies cell x as a cheek cell do you agree with him give a reason for your answer wait cell x isn't it over here is this a cheek cell i wrote it down as a root hair cell hmm okay so it's actually not a cheek cell. Faris identified it wrongly. And they are asking us, do you agree with him? Give a reason for your answer. And this is one mark only. Okay, so when we are answering questions, right, we need to know this thing known as C-E-R, this acronym, okay? C, E, and R. Okay, C means claim, okay? So we need to claim yes or no for this question agree with him yes or no and then we need evidence evidence why why does it 
had to be like this. So the evidence is the cell parts, basically. Okay, all of this is the evidence. Okay. So I hope you understand that. And then we need to give a reason. We need to explain. We need to give a reason. Okay. So first, let me give my claim for the answer. The claim is no. Cell X is not a chick cell. Let me just highlight this part. This is wrong. Right? And they are telling us, do you agree with him? So that is why I'm telling no over here. Next, for my evidence, I'm going to say that cell X has no chloroplast, but has a cell wall. Right? This is because if cell X is a chick cell, right? They are telling that it's a chick cell, right? And chick cell is actually an animal cell, right? But cell wall is actually not in animals. Animals only have cell membrane. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So this is why the cell wall is not in animals, right? So cell X cannot be a chick cell. It can only be a plant cell. That is why it's a root hair cell as it also does not have chloroplasts. So the evidence is cell X has a cell wall. Okay? So cell wall is the main thing because the root hair cell does not have chloroplasts, right? So if they ask what is the difference between an, this animal cell and this plant cell, the first thing you should write is that the plant cell has a cell wall while the animal cell does not. You could also write the plant cell does not has a chloroplast but the animal cell does not. But in in the most cases, right, in most cases you should always write, always write has a cell wall. Okay, so this is the most important thing. After that, we can give our reason by explaining the cell wall first because we need to state the function after we mention the cell part, isn't it? So comma, to give the cell a regular shape. See, cell part mentioned. See, let me highlight the cell part in yellow color and highlight the function in orange color. And they are also highlighted in their own color as well. So, the cell wall, see, the cell wall is actually the part. And then the function is actually to give the cell a regular shape. Okay? After that, which is only found in plant cells. After this, this CER is done, right? After this, I can continue on. Thus, cell X cannot be a chick cell, which is an animal cell. See, I'm linking back to the question. Chick cell. I'm linking it back. Cannot be. Cell X. I'm linking back everything. Whatever they told us. See, this is how you must solve the question. And apply the answering technique that I've taught you using the cell template structure in this example question. Okay, so I hope you have understood my explanation for the cell template structure. And I hope you have learned some useful information on how to answer some questions. And, and also apply the, the template structure into cell questions like this. And also link back to the question in the end. Okay. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you understood my explanation. Bye!